We have all the outfits laid out right here. I packed up all the denim that I'm giving away. There's like one left in there. Where'd he go? He was like, you know we're only going for one night, right? I'm like, yeah, but it's two full days. you guys oh my gosh it's so dark let me move you hey y'all so if you've been paying attention to the last couple vlogs you already know what I'm packing for Trevor and I are headed to Vegas this weekend I've got presents wrapped over here I've been working on this all week and that's because the main reason that we're going is because we want to see Trevor's family his mom now lives out in Vegas and his sister and her family live in Kingman we've taken you guys there before but Kingman is just like a couple of hours from Vegas so we're all just gonna meet up in Vegas and finally give them our Christmas presents so I'm pulling out the luggages I think between Trevor and I, I think just the medium should be fine i think i'm only physically bringing two outfits and then maybe just like a couple of extra pieces just for sleeping we're only going to be there one night so this is literally just like an overnight trip but we're spending two full days there we're leaving so incredibly early in the morning tomorrow so um so I will need an outfit for once we get there besides what I'm actually wearing. I'm basically going to sleep in my travel outfit so that we can just hop out the door because Trevor wants to leave at 6 a.m. As you guys know, <laughs> that does not work very well for me. So I'm going to make this as easy on myself as possible and essentially make my travel outfit tomorrow my PJs tonight. But okay, let me put away the big one. I don't need these two. And let's get this guy open. So I also have a few other errands that I'm gonna need to run today. I need to go to the bank to get cash, obviously, for gambling and stuff. Also too, I wanna take out as much cash as possible because someone got a hold of our joint account information yesterday and literally spent like two grand in fraudulent charges and then luckily we caught it so i drained the account into my savings which is really secure but the person still continued to charge another 2500 to the account it kept declining because there was no more money left in the account i literally zeroed it out so yeah that's been a fun little adventure luckily i mean obviously we have other accounts we have our credit cards and stuff that we can use in vegas but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and pull out cash for some certain other things because we don't want to put anything back into the joint account just yet until our bank is done with our investigation so yeah i need to go do that i also want to stop by crossroads i figured i would try to see if i can get a little extra gambling money i've had a bunch of designer jeans just kind of like sitting in my room that i'm not gonna wear anymore so i might as well go ahead and see if crossroads will take them and maybe get a few extra bucks in gambling money why not let's go ahead and start packing we know that i am a psychotic traveler so yes even for an overnight weekend trip i have already styled and planned all my outfits so i'm gonna go ahead and grab them and lay them out i'll show you guys what i'm gonna be wearing in vegas and then we'll pack it all up okay we have all the outfits laid out right here so this is my outfit that i'm gonna change into for once we get to vegas just my amber crabby jeans this shein cropped little mock neck turtleneck and then this puffer vest is also from Shein. I'm gonna do chunky sneakers with this but I'm gonna wear them during the drive so I don't have to pack them. I actually could probably put these socks to the side because obviously I'd, I would wear them with the socks but then at night I'm gonna change into my black ribbed catsuit with my gold chain belt my Timberlands, and then this is just some shapewear to go underneath it. I'm also gonna wear my YSL bag with this, and then I have a dark gray trench coat, but I'll probably wear the trench coat out the door because we're gonna be leaving at like 6 a.m. It's gonna be cold, so I'll probably want that as a layer as we're leaving. Then for PJs, I've got some shorts from Shein, and then this oversized graphic tee from Cotton On. And then for our last day, we're literally gonna spend the whole day there, then we're gonna head out probably around six or seven to go back home. So we will be getting home at some point before midnight but it'll definitely be late but i'm gonna wear this other black cat suit from shein this is the spaghetti strap one and then i'm gonna layer this urban outfitters sweatshirt over it 
pair of crew socks and then I'm gonna be wearing the sneakers with it and then I'm gonna throw the trench coat over and then obviously pack one bra, one Nay bra and then a couple of pairs of underwear. We're just going for one night. I was trying to restrain myself and not throw in six pairs of underwear. I threw in two, two pairs of underwear for one night should be more than enough. But yeah, that is what I'm gonna be packing. So I wore the trench coat the other night, so I just left it out here on our entry bench. But this is the one, this is from Nasty Gal. It's just this twill dark gray trench coat. And then I also used my YSL that same night, so I just left it out here I need to pack it because everything is in my speedy right now I wanted to just bring one bag that I could transition from day to night and for me that go-to for Vegas is always my YSL bag this looks good with daytime outfits it looks good with nighttime outfits this has literally been one of the best designer investments I've made because this bag is so versatile and I just like I honestly can't get enough of it I'm so glad I went with this as my first designer bag because I have literally used it so much packed although I feel like I could pack my jeans a little bit smaller but for the puffer vest once you get all the air out you can actually compress it pretty small and then I just tied a scrunchie around it to kind of contain it and keep it from re-expanding too much but let me refold these jeans like I said I'm sure I can do better so that's much better now I'm just trying to think of what else I can pack at the moment feeling like I could probably go ahead and do hair stuff and then maybe makeup. Yeah, let's do that next. All right, got a lot done right now. Got my makeup for the nighttime, which I need to put it right here, perfect. Is my toiletries will still need a bit. Then I got my hair curler pop here on the side. Oof, I hope my toiletries will be able to fit in here. That's questionable. And then I'm going to pack a tote that I'm going to have like up with me in my seat while we're driving. So this is full of makeup and tools that I need to just do like a really quick just you know pull myself together kind of face in the car. I hate doing my makeup in the car but I don't want to hold everyone up so I'm gonna try to do my makeup in the car as best I can. So I need to put this in my travel tote. Then finally I packed up all the denim that I'm giving away. There's so much denim in here so we'll go to Crossroads in a little bit but for right now I'm starving and I need to make food and then I want to take Spartacus to the PARK so gonna do all that then we'll head out and run some errands. Crossroads. I had put my name in on the waitlist online like 
20 minutes ago and I'm second in line still. There were only three people in line before me. So don't know what's taking so long. But while I was on my drive here, my friend who is Ukrainian, I've been like in touch with her over, you know, everything going on and stuff. And she sent me an Amazon link for someone who's collecting supplies for both soldiers on the front line and civilians stuck in Ukraine. And they're sending them straight to Poland so that they can be distributed to those who need it in Ukraine. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that link has been verified. It's not a scam. If you purchase anything in that link to help out with Ukraine, it will actually go to the people in Ukraine. I will have the link in my description box below and I will probably continue to leave it in my description box for as long as this goes on. So if you don't have the means to donate anything today, but you've been wanting to, I'll make sure to include that link in all of my videos moving forward so that it's very easy to find should you be able to donate through it. I know that everybody's circumstances are different. So obviously it's kind of like a do what you can, but I just wanted to make that resource available in case anybody has been trying to figure out how to directly help out with the situation in Ukraine. But yeah, I'm just waiting here for my turn to be up any day now. The connection here is so terrible. I've been trying to look through this wish list and my friend said that there's stuff like baby food and stuff on there. So not just stuff that like are for soldiers and stuff. It's like stuff for actual civilians. So yeah, I'm having like a hard time looking through this. I'll have to do it when I get home, but yeah, I'm just like waiting. Once I drop off the stuff inside, I need to still go to the bank. And then Trevor's mom wanted us to stop by Stater Brothers and get her peanut butter. I guess there's no Stater Brothers in Nevada or at least not one near her. So she asked us if we could stop by Stater Brothers, which I mean, it's an easy request. Sure, why not? It was just one of those we were like laughing. We we're like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's so random, but oh my God. Okay, I am now up next. <sighs> Hopefully I can get a little bit of money with all of this denim that I've gathered together. Okay, I'm back, not back. I got about like 60 and change. I think it was like 61 bucks. So happy with that. That is part of a tank of Trevor's gas. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're taking his car because mine needs to be serviced and his car is just so expensive for gas also too we always take mine and I just I wanted it to have a break because it's just been a lot of wear and tear but now I need to stop by Stater Brothers and get the peanut butter then head back home to Sparta fart okay and we're back home Trevor apparently came home at some point but I am gonna swap things over into my white cell bag taking the essentials from in here like just one of my vaccine cards not that I think I'll need it for anything in Vegas but you just you never know and since i have two it doesn't hurt to bring one around i don't think i want to put this in here but i'll put it in the pile that's supposed to go in my travel bag my wallet as well as the cash that i grabbed one of my masks although i don't think that vegas has any mask mandates anymore and then out of this thing as i don't want to bring the whole thing ooh, extra battery i should make sure that that's charged hairbrush which will be the only hairbrush i'm bringing but that's not going to go in my purse i'll put that in a different bag hand sanitizer oh this is what i was looking for is this abu dhabi perfect this is my nyx soft matte lip cream i'm so sorry this is like essentially a repeat of my what's in my bag but i'm sure you guys don't mind uh, I'll do this little baby clip, a hair tie, hand lotion. I think that that's it for now. Whoops, whoops, I'm stuck to myself. And then I also grabbed this Merit Shade Slick. This one is taupe. It's a lot more neutral than the one that I have in this bag currently. Okay, so I need to put this all in here. I hate having it loose, but I just, I don't have another little baggie, so. I'm gonna make the most of it. Oh my god, please do not open in this bag. Ugh, you know what? I'm so scared. I'll put this in the travel one. I'm too scared on that one. Like when it's a squeeze tube, I just, I don't like it loose in a designer purse. That just scares the bejesus out of me. Cool. So that's all set. Vlog camera can go in the front, which I can go ahead and pack because I'm vlogging on my sony right now how's her battery looking Ooh, this one's running low so Let's see if this has full juice yep okay full battery so perfect this is the only camera that i'm bringing oh and then my mask 
and I will be filming a get ready with me in Vegas but it'll, it'll have to be on my camera which I don't love but I also really don't want to bring the other one but yeah okay so that's what I threw in the purse for here so this is I think what's gonna be my travel bag. I'll put like electronics and stuff in here. Eventually I will also be putting my computer charger and my extra battery and the charger for the Canon extra battery in here. But for right now, I'm gonna put that lotion in here, my tripod. Then I am gonna bring the bigger tripod. I'm gonna bring this guy with me. Is this the broken one? Yes it is, okay, perfect. That is the travel one. I travel with a broken one because if I lose it, then whatever, it's just the travel one. Oh, I'll just go ahead and throw my hairbrush in here too. So that's good. Like I said, I'll put more electronic stuff in there a little bit later. My computer needs to stay out because I'm gonna be editing this tonight. I can add in this makeup bag. I think that that's it for the travel tote for right now. Oh my gosh, my dang it i don't know if we're gonna have room for my timberlands in the luggage it all depends on how much room trevor takes up so i'll just plan to pack them in here for right now luckily this is canvas so it can expand quite a bit so it'll be fine but okay i think that's it for right now oh i should bring out some of the other stuff i'm bringing so pop beauty sent me some stuff a little while ago and I thought that they would be perfect to bring to Vegas. I can't pack them in my toiletry bag just yet or actually no I can't. <laughs> I can't because I still have to like deal with toiletries tomorrow morning but this PR package was actually perfect because it helped to fill in some of the gaps. I don't have a travel cleanser and they sent me one. This is their fizz jelly cleanser so I will be trying this out. I don't actually need to bring these but I just really want to try them. These are their pom-pom peel exfoliating pads so interested and then this is gonna be really great for travel it's a little headband to put my hair back for while i'm washing my face then i don't know if i'm gonna bring this because i do have the summer fridays jet lag mask but this one seems like it's supposed to be a different version of that but a lot more affordable so i don't know maybe i will bring it not quite sure oh no you are supposed to wipe this one off so you can't use this one like a moisturizer like you can with the jet lag one so i'm gonna bring the jet lag but i will bring these three with me then to pack my supplements so i have the little seed travel case which i thought would be perfect for all of my supplements apparently i already packed myself some so that's good to know but i'm just gonna pack all of my supplements in it do I need to do four of these. Oh my god, I need a new one. Shoot. Okay. When I get back, I need to get a new one of those, but should I put these in here? I'm almost wondering if I should do a plastic baggie because I don't want to like ruin the integrity of this case. Yeah, I'm going to get a baggie, but do two of my multivitamins. This one's already done. Two multivitamins. Whoa. Relax. And then actually I need to take these today. So I'm officially out. <laughs> Come on. I see you. There's like one left in there. Where'd it go? Okay, I see it. <laughs> All right. Supplements. Done. Oh my God. Actually though, funny story. Before we got those glass containers for Spartacus's homemade treats, I used to put his treats in empty Ollie containers because they're airtight, which I liked for his little hot dog treats. And Trevor saw me taking vitamins out of this the other day and he's like, are you eating Spartacus's treats? And I was like, no, these are my vitamins. Like, did you think that like, we somehow started manufacturing his treats in these containers? And he was like, oh, I got so confused. I always just, automatically think that those containers are his treats i'm like no they're reused to be his treat things like they're obviously originally containers for something else so i thought that was hilarious okay and then i need two doses of my medication and then i take two vitamin d pills all right so ooh, no you know what? i'm not gonna get a baggie for this i have a better idea i'm gonna use a camino tin I consolidated everything into this one. I think we'll bring it with us because it's Vegas. Why not, you know? And I'll put my supplements in this one. Watch me get high from taking my supplements now. <laughs> all right, all set with my supplements and then fun stuff. <laughs>
perfect timing. My mom brought us food so we didn't have to like use any dishes and stuff. I've been working on like cleaning up and stuff, but we're gonna pause on packing for dinner. I got you asparagus for your vegetable, I assume. Okay, cool. But yeah, I got, this is fish and shrimp for those protein gains. <laughs> and then white rice and zucchini on Trevor's is tilapia with white rice and asparagus. Got an update from Trevor. He does not want to use any of the suitcase. Wonderful. So I get the whole thing. So I'm going to do a little bit of rearranging, lightening my load. Put the tripod in there. Oh my God, this is going to be so much easier. He was like, you know we're only going for one night, right? I'm like, yeah, but it's two full days, so. Yeah. So neat on my stuff, and it's Vegas. I still need to bring all of the adequate getting ready things, so that's full makeup, my hair stuff and everything. I'm not gonna like wash my hair there. Actually, I do need to shower and blow dry my hair tonight so that I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. But otherwise, I still have like a ton of stuff to bring, you know? But okay, so unfortunately, I'm so sorry if this was a short vlog. With all that being said, I need to go ahead and end this vlog here. I still need to shower and then get my toiletries together and then finish cleaning up in here. I was hoping to be able to vlog all of that for you guys, but it's just getting later and later right now and I have so much stuff to do. And as I mentioned, I need to edit and export and upload this vlog tonight. So I've just got to call it here for tonight. The one thing that I guess I can do then is... Oh we have like all of this stuff here that needs to be cleaned up. These are coming with me. I do want to go ahead and lay out all of Spart's stuff to make it easier on his dog sitter. No, you're not going anywhere, buddy. Just stay. Yeah. Just to make it easier for her, I've got his leash out. There isn't really a need to use his muzzle when they're walking him because they're so good with him, but just in case, I have that out. And then just some extra poop bags. His treats are already by the door so that it'll be easy for her to come in. So yeah, I think that that's it, basically. I just need to text her where everything is and then we're good to go. So are you gonna be good? Come here, come here. Come here, mister. Are you gonna be good for Emma tomorrow? Huh? Are you gonna be a good boy for your babysitter? You better be good for her. I don't wanna hear any complaints. I wanna hear that you were a perfect angel, okay? Just like last time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to get going so that I'm not up till 3 a.m. editing and exporting this. I will see you guys tomorrow on the road to Vegas. You guys will see me in a couple days from now. I plan on editing everything really quick for Vegas and getting that vlog out for you guys ASAP. So yeah, see you then. Yeah.